Today we'll be making lamb stew. To make lamb stew, you're going to be needing two and a half pound lamb. I did marinate my lamb with salt and pepper hour ago, so it's well marinated. And your lamb needs to be cut in big chunks like this. Also, we're going to be needing quarter cup all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon thyme dry theme and quarter teaspoon dry basil and also you're going to be needing half teaspoon salt half teaspoon black pepper about 10 baby carrots you can use regular carrots but I prefer baby carrots and half cup medium onion chopped in chunks like this and we'll be needing six half garlic, minced, one teaspoon fresh rosemary, one can vegetable broth, and also you're going to be needing one cup water, half cup dry red wine, half cup fresh parsley, and quarter cup tomato paste tomato paste like right there now we're gonna do shake we're gonna shake our meat with flour theme basil salt and pepper so we're gonna get a clear plastic bag just like this just like this one here we're gonna go ahead and place our, our flour in our bag here just like that there gonna go ahead and put our pepper salt and now we're gonna place our basil with our flour and our theme and go in the bottom there and we're gonna start placing our meat and shake it Notice in the bag. I have my flour basil theme salt and pepper in the bag we're gonna go ahead and shake it well so get a very nice coat there and then we're gonna place some more some more of my lamb in there if you notice, my lamb is well coated with my flour, thyme, basil, salt and pepper. I use a plastic bag to do that to get my lamb mixed up right here. I'm going to place my meat in my pan here, my cooking pan. I'm not using a slow cooker, but you're welcome to use slow cooker because it cooks well in there. Now we're going to be mixing our carrots to our pot. We still have our lamb in the pot there. We're going to mix that. We're going to go ahead and put our onions to our pot here with our carrots. Mix our garlic to that. Our red wine. One cup water. We're going to go ahead and add our water to that. Our vegetable broth. I'm going to use the whole can of vegetable broth and our rosemary. Okay, so we have our all our ingredients in here in my pot. My heat is medium low heat. We're going to go ahead and mix it, mix all together. Okay, after mixing, we're going to go ahead and um, now remember, we are cooking under low medium heat. You're welcome to use a slow cooker. It's perfectly good for this, for a stew. But I'm going to use a regular uh, pan here. So I'm going to cover this and let it cook slowly for an hour and come back to it. Going back to my stew, I gave it about an hour for uh, my lamb to get settled down nicely and cooks so I can get tender lamb. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my tomato paste to that. And also I'm going to go ahead and add my fresh parsley. There you go. So we have our parsley, a tomato paste in there. We're going to cook for another five minutes and come back to it. Back to my lamb stew. If you look at it, I got a beautiful color out of it with my tomato paste. And um, you can add salt depending on your taste. How you like it and also I added more tomato paste to it because I like my lamb 
kind of like a medium reddish looking. So now I'm going to turn this off and serve. Okay, my lamb stew is done. I have salad, cucumber salad there on the side. I have boiled taro. And if I do a close up to my stew, you can see my lamb, my beautiful carrot and onions all blending so perfectly. This is a beautiful and delicious dish. You can enjoy this anytime. Thank you very much for watching. And also I'm going to show you um, if you serve this with mashed potatoes, it looks really delicious and good too. I have a second dish prepared here and I'm showing you how to enjoy this with mashed potatoes. Lamb stew and mashed potatoes. On the side I have cucumber salad and boiled taro. You can see I have my lamb stew over mashed potatoes. It's looking so good and delicious. has a really thick juice to it with basil leaves right there and parsley. It came out really good. Again, thank you very much for watching.